What's going on guys? Firewolf Tech here showing you guys the Zag Invisible Shield Fusion XTR2 Eco for the S23 Plus. We're gonna go ahead and open this up and show you guys how to install the screen protector. Link for this will be in the description box below so make sure you guys check that out. So right in front of the packaging we can see that this is Zag's most advanced screen protector. It comes with an anti-reflective technology, anti-dust insulation. It's made up of 50% recycled material and it comes with a 40% blue light filtration to block out those harmful blue lights and What's very unique about this version that I picked up is that it also includes up to $250 screen repair if your screen gets damaged within the first year and they're gonna cover that one time So that's really great that Zag stands behind their products and it's an additional charge So there are two versions. There's one without the screen repair protection and there's one with that and with any purchase of any Zack screen protector, they do come with a limited lifetime warranty, which is really great. So let's go ahead and open this up and see what we get inside. Okay, first thing we see here is an insulation frame. You get two little envelopes here with a attention to register for your lifetime warranty, which is really nice. We got another envelope here for, I believe, the screen protector here with the installation instructions. Now, this is the actual form for the screen protector warranty. It looks like it's provided the warranty of life. So you basically register that for that $250 benefits. So make sure you guys register that. So for screen protector installations, we get a nice microfiber squeegee. We get a alcohol prep pad dust removal sticker, and a really nice sized microfiber cloth. And here we have the actual screen protector. And there we have the actual screen protector. You can see the blue coating on this, and that's basically made to block the blue lights from the screen itself. And as you can see, it's not made out of glass. It's more made of a really strong TPU material. Let's go ahead and install this. So the first thing you want to do is you want to first go on their settings and display and make sure you have touch sensitivity on. This basically increases the sensitivity when you're using the screen protector, especially for the fingerprint reader. So once you guys have that, I recommend powering off the phone. And once that's powering off, we're able to start the installation process. I like to grab the installation frame and locate where the top is. You can see right here we have top and that's going to go right where the front facing camera is at. We're gonna line that up and place it on top. Next, we're gonna grab the alcohol prep pad and we're gonna go across the whole screen. And this is going to clean the screen from any fingerprints, oils, or any lints of that nature. Do like how moist this towel is. Next, we're gonna grab the microfiber cloth and we're gonna pass it all across the screen and wipe off that residue. And then finally, we're gonna take the dust removal sticker and we're going to apply that on top of the screen just to make sure there's no lint. You want to take your time with this. Always double check the actual screen before you install. You don't want to have a piece of lint because once it's trapped inside, it's basically over. Okay, now we're ready to install the screen protector itself. We're gonna first locate the punch hole for the front facing camera. So that's gonna be the top of the screen. And then we're going to lift up the step number one to reveal the adhesive side. So I'm gonna start with that first. All right, and then we're gonna line the punch holes with the holes of the insulation frame. I'm gonna start with the bottom first and then we're gonna line it up with the top. All right, so now that it is aligned with the punch holes, now it's ready to grab the microfiber squeegee. And the most important part is you apply pressure, you know, from bottom top or top to bottom, either or you wanna go in a one motion to kind of like make sure all the bubbles are pushed out. So I'm gonna start with the bottom here. And I'm gonna apply a good amount of pressure and we're gonna go from bottom all the way to the top of the screen. Right. If you notice any bubbles, you can always just, you know, push them out. And then we're 
we're ready to remove this top piece. take the installation frame out as well and there we have the screen protector installed and you can see the bottom over here has some air pockets here so we're going to quickly grab the squeegee again and we're just going to gently apply pressure on the bottom and it should go away if you notice any micro ones then you know you could always push those out so you see the bottom one has been pushed out as we can see the screen protector installation was fairly easy and fairly simple I'm going to go ahead and power on the screen to test out the screen sensitivity all right, so let's go ahead and test out the sensitivity with the actual fingerprint reader here. And the good thing about this being a more of a really hard TPU material is that the fingerprint reader is definitely nice and smooth, a lot smoother than glass screen protectors itself. And it feels really nice and smooth. The colors are very true. There's no blue lights at all doesn't affect the screen quality of the screen at all. So I do like that a lot. Definitely a nice solid screen protector option for your S23 Ultra. So all oh guys, the Zag Invisible Shield Fusion XTR2 is definitely on the pricier side. Now this is, again, this is not a glass screen protector, is more of a really strong TPU. And the benefits of that is that the sensitivity of the screen is gonna be very, very high, which is gonna allow your fingerprint to read almost every single time versus glass. And it's, and let's keep it honest, with tempered glass screen protectors, they're known to break very, very easily. At least with this, it'll last a lot longer. You don't have to worry about your screen you know, getting damaged. And if you purchase the one with the screen repair option here, you do get that coverage up to 250 for the first year. So that's a great plus to have. If you guys enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching, guys.